So you want fast action. You want in and out of the markets in five minutes. You are a scalping master. You wanna learn all of the scalping strategies on the internet. In this video, I'm gonna show you an extremely reckless one minute scalping strategy that might be able to help you get some pips. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Artie and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable on a consistent basis. So if you are a new trader, please close this video right now. I don't want any new beginner traders scalping on a one minute chart. You shouldn't be looking at a one minute chart. So there is my disclaimer, do not trade the one minute if you are new. If you are, however, experienced, you know market structure, you know trend lines, you know moving averages, Let's get into it. So jumping into trading view, we have Australian dollar, US dollar, one of my favorite currency pairs to trade. Now there are a few things that you're gonna need to do to set your chart up like this. If you have trading view, what you can do is just create a new layout, do all of these settings, that way it won't affect your old charts. You can do that by clicking the top over here and you can rename the chart with this and we can name it, hold my beer, watch this. Okay, so the concept behind it is that you're gonna be scalping engulfing candles. What do I mean by engulfing? I mean the move was going up and then you got a big fat engulfing candle in the opposite direction. So the main thing that we're gonna be looking at here is using these three moving averages. I have the 21 period, the 50 period, and the 200 period smoothed moving average. To find that, click on the indicators panel at the top and type in smoothed. You will get smoothed moving average right there. Click it as your favorite and add it three times. You are going to adjust each one by changing the inputs to 200, 50, and 21. The next thing that you're gonna add is a stochastic RSI right there. Add it as a favorite and add it to your chart. It should look like this. You are gonna change these settings to 3, 3, 14, and 8. And you're gonna add one last indicator and that you're gonna type in engulfing. You're gonna do it from the public library. It's called Engulfing Candle Indicator by R-M-U-N-O-Z, Ramunos. And that's all the indicators that you're gonna need. So basically, if we are above this 200 moving average, we are looking for long positions. If we are below it, we are looking for short positions. The main thing about this strategy is that you are looking for the traps to be set. What I mean by trap is, a potential bounce off of a moving average or hitting a resistance zone, making it look like it's going in one direction and then a huge engulfing candle as the fake out. You have to wait for that big engulfing candle. That's number one in this strategy. So with the engulfing candle indicator, you can see right here that we get these little like red arrows and green arrows when there is an engulfing candle. And again, do not test this strategy at times that you do not trade. I trade the London session maybe an hour before, so I'm only looking at that range. Right here is about where I start trading, so I'm analyzing the price action, I'm looking at what it's doing. I usually do not get in until London session has opened and has been about 15 minutes into the session. But when you see huge red candles like this, that's a clear indication that there might be some momentum in that direction. So I waited a bit and then I waited and it broke through these moving averages subsequently. Then we got this little tiny fake bounce off of the 200 and a big fat engulfing candle to the downside. You can see right here, there's a little tiny red arrow. So at this point, I'm like, cool. I think the markets are gonna go down all day. So I waited and I watched. You have to be super patient with this because each candlestick is one minute. You do not want to get burned because your stop losses are going to be very, very tight. So now we're clearly trading below the 200 smooth moving average and now we're waiting for structure to be formed. What do I mean by structure? You wanna see lower lows consistently and lower highs consistently. So this engulfing candle right here was our first indication of structure being formed. The market continued down, we got a little bit more structure, and then we get our engulfing candle. Now technically you could have traded off of any one of these engulfing candles, these down engulfing candles because we are in a down trend. Now you might be asking yourself why I have the stochastic RSI right here. Basically I keep this up here so that I can see which direction the price is going. I don't use the stochastic RSI as like 
overbought and oversold. This is the wrong way to do it. Never do that because when you get the most momentum, you can stay oversold for a long period of time. So if I draw an imaginary line halfway in between and I'm trading below that, I am looking for sell positions only because I know that we are in bearish momentum. So with this scalping strategy comes very short term trades, okay? I want you to get into a position to get five pips and then GTFO. So we had a bearish engulfing candle right here. We got five pips in five minutes. We got another bearish engulfing candle right here and we got five pips in seven minutes. Now, how I want you to set this up is like a two to one risk to reward ratio. So you're only looking to get five pips out of the market. So you get your candle, you set it to five pips and you set your stop loss at two and a half pips. You have to have tight spreads on your broker to have a two and a half pip stop loss because the spread might hurt you on this. But if you have a tight spread, like one pip spread, you are good to go. If you want to be super safe, you can keep it at a one to one at a five pip stop loss at a five pip take profit. So we had our five pips right here. And then again, here is another bearish engulfing. So when the candle closes, only when the candle closes, because it could be this huge fat candle, but then at the last second reject up and you get this really long wick, you have to wait for the candle to close. And we got another five pips right here. Now you do not want to use this strategy for the entire day. You are waiting for the one big move of the day. There's always that move that just like in one direction consistently. When the market starts consolidating like this, you don't want to be in it anymore because you can see right here, we were consolidating from this point to this point, And that is one hour and six minutes without a trade. So if you are consolidating, if you see a loss of momentum, get out because this is not scalping. You can't scalp when it's consolidating. You can only scalp when it's going harsh in a big direction. You can tell that because you'll see these massive freaking candles. Like these are massive candles on a one minute time frame, and you can see the momentum going down. So you get in a market like this and you only get in on the bearish engulfing candles in that direction. You wait for these fake pump outs and then a big fat engulfing and you scalp, 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 scalp. And you can get three or four trades in on this one move Every time it starts to dip up, you get an engulfing and then you continue down. So technically on this, we could have had one trade, two trades, three trades, four trades, four trades at five pips each. You got 20 pips out of the market and you got all of that in 26 minutes. So that's literally a pip a minute. Now, once you get comfortable with this trading in the direction, only trading with the trend, you can actually get more precise with this trying to catch reversals. But what I want you to focus on is trading with the trend when you first start this one minute scalping strategy and only do it on demo. Wait till you're consistently getting your wins. You should be getting about an 80% win rate when the momentum is going like this. And you'll be able to tell the momentum because it'll be at about a 45 degree angle. This angle right here means there's momentum in the market. More of a flat, you don't wanna trade that. So when you get more advanced, you can actually see when it's playing along the moving averages and then rejecting off of them, you can see this big downslope right here. So you would have taken this trade as well, just like I did yesterday. I got 10 pips out of this one move. And again, it rejected two more times off of that moving average and continued down all day. So you want to see the momentum. You want to see engulfing candles. You want to use your moving averages and you only want to trade with the trend. Now, don't ever try to get the bottom of the market. It's not gonna happen. You wanna wait until we're trading above some moving averages as a signal that the trend is reversing. So as you can see, we're rejecting off of the 21 on the upside. Try this out. Make sure you're doing it on demo. This is very fast acting. This is in and out in five, six, seven minutes max. So if you guys are still watching this video, that means that you like the video. So if you wouldn't mind, smash the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you have not already, and we will see you in the next video.